Now new at 530, making way for a new bigger parking garage in downtown Pittsburgh. They're going to tear down an old garage and then build a new one that'll have more spaces. But where are all those people going to park in the meantime? Money editor John Delano got some answers. The bad news? Just when parking downtown seems hard to find, 586 spots will disappear in May when the garage at 9th and Penn is demolished. It's old. It's aged. It served its useful life. Parking Authority Director Dave Honorado and architect Michael App appeared before the Pittsburgh Planning Commission on Tuesday. Parking structure was built in 1958 uh, and has frankly met the end of its life cycle. The garage shows its age and demolishing it has been planned for some time. The good news? A new garage by the end of 2020 with even more spaces. Roughly 100 spaces to the existing garage once a new one's built. The design of the new garage has not been finalized as the authority works with the Cultural District, which owns the open parking lot and buildings surrounding the garage. There's talk of moving the garage back from the edge of Penn Avenue, creating a little park and allowing for more retail shops. We're working with the Cultural Trust. We're trying to pull it back off of Penn Avenue and maybe uh, switch, swap land out with the Cultural Trust, let them have the uh, sidewalk scape and put the garage in the middle of the block. For the time being, the trust owned buildings on the corner remain, although master violin maker Philip in Jayen has concerns with demolition next door. We'll be on alert every day, obviously. Uh, as soon as I start feeling some rumbling, I'm going to be obviously right here by my, by, by my violins. The parking authority hopes that the demolition will not really affect the neighbors here, but it's quite possible that this two-lane Penn Avenue can be reduced to one lane for some time. Of course, the bike lane will still remain. And during the construction, downtown parking will be squeezed for everyone. Are they all getting in a, a central business district? No, but they're on the outskirts. There's availability at 2nd Avenue, Grand Street, North Shore, South Side, Strip District. Are you getting right next to your building? No. John Delano, KDKA News.